Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you all had a great weekend. If you are new, welcome. Please smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoy the reading and my channel. Keep in mind, this is a general reading for the I'm going to take a look at the week ahead for you guys, okay? See what the predictions, horoscope messages are for the week ahead. But as always, some things may or may not be for you. Some messages may not work helping for you at night. Um, but remember, be mindful. Don't try to force anything to fit. See how the week plays out. And this is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But all signs are welcome. Okay, if you guys want to get a personal reading, there is a discount for the rest of July. So go on over. It's $50 off. I'm sorry. Yeah. 50 or is it $75 off? Go check it out. All right, let's get into this, Virgo. I'm going to do a Celtic cross and take a look at how the week was for you last week, what the current energies are for you now, what to expect going forward this week, okay, in all areas. You know, it's crazy. I've been seeing this magician in my mind's eye. Um, you're definitely currently trying to manifest some positive energy this week i know it virgo okay let's take a look mm. there's five of swords in the reverse an external to you wow okay bottom of the deck awesome you have the six of wands virgo so this is victory this is going to be a good week for you virgo positive energy success awards recognition good news coming in achievements being applauded um, for a job well done or hard work and effort you've put in the previous week i see last week you were really determined to accomplish your goals or um you know just go after the things that you've wanted to go after last week looks like i mean you're still <laughs> you're still trying to smash last week <laughs> i feel like you're like on a on a roll here virgo even, like even with the knight of swords this just it feels like last week you were very assertive in a lot of ways you know like maybe very chatty like very intentional um uh, being i guess i want to say like um maybe you were talking to a lot of people making some lifestyle change in your life um that kind of thing it, it looks like you were your mental clarity and your mental acuity was good and it looks like it, whatever you were tackling um in your thoughts or whatever um like in your intellect it looks like you're going to see the results this week for everything that you went after and all your accomplishments last week or whatever you're working towards okay so let's take a look here so it's sunday so it looks like the first part of the week for you and presently where you are right now is like what else can i do right you've got the page of pentacles what other ideas what other plans can i manifest and i feel like maybe you're taking notes you're writing things down um maybe you're writing down your goals or you're working on a vision board i feel like you have a lot of ideas especially when it comes to money or finances or you know even if you have like your everyday job um i see you kind of like thinking to yourself what else can i do to i guess i want to say build upon financially or for money okay so you're definitely in this mindset going forward this week of i need to be able to touch and feel and make something happen okay i also see um some of you being able to pay some bills or pay some extra bills I'm, I'm definitely feeling that and also um yeah it just kind of feels like for some of you there's going to be some news about either receiving more money okay it's money news so it's either receiving more money or um like getting a raise or having an, a secondary or maybe a third source of income and i'm also picking up um possibly a new career or a new job okay so you might be getting some something along like coming to you through the mail or maybe an email of some sort or hearing about something or someone's talking to you or tells you about a position that opens okay so money looks good good news for money now let me see so you have temperance in the position um 
of, you know, your benefit and I don't know why I'm drawing blanks today. Uh, your benefit and your challenge. So the real challenge is to kind of break even is what I'm feeling here. And I am going to get into love for those of you who are wanting to know about love. I will pull some cards along that. But I just kind of felt called to look at your week ahead in your everyday life. The real challenge here is for, to, for you to get with temperance and to be kind of balanced in what you're, you know, to kind of like level out. That's what I'm hearing. And for things to be in balance, like enough money going out and enough money coming in it's a challenge but you know what it's a benefit to you as well that i feel like that's going to happen for you you do have what's driving you this week is like i said the magician you're in manifest mode virgo i don't know what what you've got going on but i definitely feel like you're gonna tr be trying to like whatever your visions are or your goals or your plans this week whatever you're thinking about you know, here's the thing, right? I had this conversation earlier today. When we tell the universe what it is that we don't want, um, they tend to bring that to us. Like if you say, I don't want, I don't know, I don't want popcorn. The universe doesn't understand the contractual phrase of don't, right? Or do not. They just hear the do part. So they're going to bring you popcorn. This is just an example. Speak only about the things that you wish for or that you desire or speak on the gratitude of the things that you have and that more of that will be brought to you okay um and i kind of feel like a lot of you like if you don't know that that's your kind of your practice for the week but i feel like a lot of you do know that already um you know if, if you're always thinking about how much you don't want to be in pain um it's it's almost as if the universe is like oh uh you're, you're just constantly talking about pain so we guess you want more of that we guess we're guessing you want more of that so that's the more they bring you you know it's all like your mindset what you think is what you bring about okay so i see you being in this very positive energy like with this magician right here you are you're very focused this week turning your um your dreams, your wishes, your goals, your desires, your visions into reality, okay? Feeling very inspired because you're focused, okay? Look, there you go. Just right out the bat like that, right out the gate. Nine of Pentacles, and that's your card. So there you are. Independence, and it can be material things, but it's also about being um, secure, not only within like your finances, but also like within yourself, okay so whatever you're working on these dreams or these ideas that you have these things that you want to create for yourself i do see you with the eight of cups there being in this like looking up at the stars and making those wishes and and manifesting things and thinking about the things you want and trying to bring them into balance here with temperance so the more good thoughts that you have the more um you work with the universe the more they will bring you these good things so that you come to this empress energy okay going forward in the middle of the week sitting pretty virgo male or female i don't care just sitting pretty having these new beginnings like things are starting to manifest and i just feel like a lot of what you did last week that you really put your energy into last week that you're still energized about is now you're going to start you know last week was the cause this week is the effect right now you're going to start feeling all this or seeing all these results and this is just going to keep inspiring you because it's positive these positive things are going to start happening where you're going to look back like for example if you've been dieting all week you don't see anything while you're doing it but the, the next week now you're seeing the results hey you lost a pound or something there's like as an example maybe that is what you're doing but this energy you know i, I see you being like wow okay i've you know I've, I've finished that first task and and i'm seeing the results of this and now you just keep building and building until you listen you've got the empress here this is beautiful energy okay and even with the nine of pentacles you're like building you're you're kind of like i feel like i don't know you're halfway there or you're almost where you need to be here Okay, so yeah, the Empress is all about these new beginnings. Um, let me see here. I just feel like this is you. Uh, some of you are striving just to be in the Empress Center, the best that you can be. You're on this, this growth and you're doing the work. 
and and you're going to start seeing these results. And I feel like sometime around, I'm going to say Wednesday, you'll know, have a little bit of an aha moment. Like what? Sometime on Wednesday, it, it feels like it's coming. It's coming in. Like you're just going to turn around and be like, here comes the gift, you know, seeing the gift, seeing the result. Wow, the emperor and the empress. Holy. So this is for <laughs> more specifically, I'm talking to the, ma the masculines and the feminines. Absolutely. Some of you Wednesday might even be meeting your other half. Like your perfect match, you know, whoever they are. It could be Aries, Libra, Taurus. But whoever it is, this, this is like two people coming together are meant to be together. There's a, also for love, a connection. I don't know what you're doing, Virgo. I don't know what you're working on. But you're preparing or you're being prepared. As far as love goes, look, you've done a lot of reflection in your life. At least even, maybe even the past few weeks or the past month. Spent a lot of time seeking answers, trying to figure out what you're, you know, where you're going, where you want to be, where you're headed. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm shouting. I need to stop shouting. I just have all this exciting energy to give you here. I mean, look, you have great ideas. Like you have these ideas, these plans, putting the effort in here. Because this is the advice, like this is where you're trying to get to, that stable foundation, that ten of pentacles, um, that, you know, that security for life or a long-term relationship or a long-term partnership. I mean, the empress and the emperor coming together, <laughs> I mean, this, this is like the absolute perfect match and the best of the matches to be made here okay so you know I, I could get into specifics about what exactly it is that you're doing it may not just be about money it could be your goals for some of you whatever your particular goals on that you've been working on you're going to start seeing results this week okay and you may be attracting someone uh, at least around wednesday where know, you get noticed or you get paid attention to and uh, or vice versa and there's just like this i don't know this connection that gets made here let me see here just one more i just want to get one more card for the emperor and the empress i mean i feel like a lot of you are going to meet like your your other half the one who's meant for you wow look at the hanged man you've been waiting for this this person's been waiting for you now is this somebody new i feel like it i do i don't i'm not feeling anything of a past person this feels like somebody new that was meant for you and you meant for them okay maybe you'll meet them in a church right because the hangman sometimes reminds me of like jesus on the cross that's for some of you um or you're wait, you meet this person while you're waiting in line somewhere, okay? A place where you have to be patient. You've got the hangman and temperance are very similar in that there's patience, harmony. You know, um, I feel like two people here, you waiting for the right person to come in, this person waiting for their right person. And I just kind of feel like you guys bump into each other in the middle of the week. Maybe you're in line at the DMV or you're in line in your car and it's the car in front of you or behind you. You know, there's a connection that gets me. I'm feeling like a lot of waiting energy, okay? Um, where you have to be somewhere this week and you can't, not be there and so this is an energy of like if if you leave where you are you're not going to get what you need so you have to stay and you have to wait <laughs> look at this ten of ten of cups ten of pentacles ten of cups i mean this is really like a beautiful reading so far virgo seriously um so let me see what's external to you now the five of swords in the reverse peace after trouble so um you know virgo i know you could just go into your room and you know or go into your home or just stay in hermit mode and you can find peace there and not deal with any people places or things and go off into like your dreamland but this is external to you this is everything outside of that room or everything outside of the door um everything's calm 
everything's at, at everything is well external to you in your life right there's peace uh let me see that's pretty interesting i just feel like i don't know virgo this is like a freaking miracle <laughs> there's just this virgo i i have to tell you i feel like you might have a fear um also this week of losing everything that you've been working so hard on to accomplish your goals or your desires or your wishes your hopes you might have this energy when you meet this person like it's too good to be true and this person isn't going to stick around um or you you might not be able to attain your goals these are fears you know what i mean and i think that the reason you might be fearing these things is because these great, amazing things looks like it's happening for you this week, especially. And the fear is not abnormal at all. You know, um, when we value something, we tend to fear losing it. You know, when we truly value something and when we're giving gifts and there's grace and blessings that come in where it's or even just having re results of things hard work we're going to value that so much because we've worked so hard to get where we need to be you know whether that's healing or working on career or what have you and i feel like you do have this fear like oh you know the other shoe is going to drop are you going to get left out in the cold or something like that i i don't feel that energy and the reason why is because i see everything external to you like everything starts working out for you Okay, and that's what that five, there's no more turmoil, there's no more competition with the five of swords, there's no more, I'll even go as far as to say, um, troubling relationships or um, feeling unsafe or any kind of like, you know, fighting or anything like that in the reverse. It's like, I mean, if there was someone who was, you know, really... <clears throat> That person, place, or thing was causing you trouble in your life. Um, I do feel like that person is going to, I, they're giving me like maybe get caught doing something and they're going to have some consequences. It's going to free you up in a lot of ways. You know, I mean, you have the karma card at the outset. So this is an energy of like an, a major, a major awakening happening for you, at least by the end of the week or just in general. Um, I just feel like it's like an aha moment, like your life's purpose, what you've been called to do, even in the very mundane, tiny things in your life, these tiny, like little, I want to say obstacles that you've had to overcome, no matter how big or small they are, I feel like you're going to have like a lot of aha moments and things coming to you where you're choosing your fate, you're make, you're creating your own destiny, and you're going to start seeing results of this. Now, let me just say, like, if you haven't been working towards anything last week, or last week, you've just been kind of going with the flow. Um, and maybe that was a goal for you. <laughs> you know, some some Virgos can get into control mode. Maybe one of your goals last week was, you know what, I'm just going to trust the process and, you know, let spirit work in my life. And Maybe that was something different for you and you've achieved that this week and here are the results. But if you haven't put your effort, even letting go, you have to put effort into that. So if you haven't put effort into anything, I really can't guarantee that any of this stuff is going to be coming for you. But like I'm, listen, I'm very open-minded. So if one of your goals, like the most you could do last week was remembering to put your clothes in the clothes basket every day, if that was a goal for you, hey, results come from that okay so it doesn't have to be major it can be very very minor okay let me just see this karma um and i feel like also with that you know that's judgment so i also feel like with karma like the good is coming back to you and you're gonna feel the effects of it this week definitely judgment is kind of like looking down on you and like kind of saying you know you've done really good here's your reward for all the all the good you know um the good effort you put in, positive results always come from that, you know? So I feel like there's clarity. And you definitely come to a final decision towards this, the end of this week. Um, or you make a new decision towards the end of this week that sets you on a path that's quite different from where you've ever been in your life before. Um, let me see here. 
Wow, you got the Ace of Wands. So there's inspiration. Yeah, Virgo, I just, I love this reading. I feel like, I really feel like I could feel the tears, but you know, I'm not going to cry. I do feel like with the Ace of Wands, this is like new growth, a new beginning happening. Just at the end, just at least by the end of this week, it's, I don't know, I feel like there's going to be some major changes. And for some of you, this is like looking down at your bank account and being like, oh my gosh, look at all the money I have in here. Where'd this come from? Oh my gosh. You know, really being, taking, going from the page of pentacles here, you know, where I just feel like, I just feel like you're kind of like, this week, just like, you know, here's all my ideas and here's all my plans and everything I want to do. And I feel like by the end of the week, you, you take another look, you reconcile how far you've come and what you've accomplished. And then you start all over again. And see, look at all the, the leaves on this here. Um, club it's kind of like the growth you start seeing the growth i mean so many changes but let's take a look at this emperor and empress thing going on here because there's a, definitely a love connection being made and we're gonna like i'm gonna pull some energy from that here so just give me one second let's try to start all over again and see what else is coming in with that i told you i would do love so we're gonna take a look at love definitely because this is a beautiful match right here. This is a beautiful match. This is someone that you've been waiting for. And it feels like it's somebody new. Someone you've been waiting for. Maybe you haven't known who they are specifically. Maybe you've just been asking spirit to just bring you the love, bring you the one, bring you the person, bring you someone that's good for you. So no more suffering or anything like that. Okay. So let's get a little more information about this emperor. Okay. This definitely is someone who's a family person. They're family oriented. I will tell you that. Okay. Let's see. So either they want to build a family or they just enjoy being around their family. All right, what else can you tell Virgo about this? Emperor energy coming in here. And and so I uh, just want to say, I'm just going to look at the emperor. Now, if you are yourself an emperor, then just switch this to be an empress, okay? Because we've already spoken about you, okay? Wow, someone who's a goal setter, okay? This person loves to talk. Oh, they are a very good communicator. In fact, they communicate so much, you might always be, be like, you know what? Can I just call you back later? <laughs> but they are a fast talker. This is someone that enjoys um, traveling. This is someone who likes uh, doing things in their life. They like to discover things. They're a leader when it comes to communicating with others. So they, maybe they work in communications or they could be in military or they are someone who um, holds like speaking engagements. Okay, let me see. They're definitely someone who is, could be a boss. They may, have, they may be a parent, okay, also, like I said, or a grandparent. Let me see. I feel like this person is on a mission. Wow, look. Ace of Wands. Just like you. You guys have very similar cards, and this is pretty crazy. Um, there's a similarity here between you and this person. I feel like this is your other half. They want the same things you want. They're on the same trajectory as you, the same path as you. Okay. Let me see. Oh, look at that. Okay, they might actually pay for pay for kids, children, it could be, well, hopefully they're single. Um, they support their kids or they, you know, they give out money, they give to charity. Um, they're very generous with their, their finances, very generous with their, with their money. Let me see what else with this person. Oh, wow. Page of cups. All right. There might be three kids, two daughters and a son, <clears throat> or they, um, they want to have another child if you're of the age. If you're not, that's fine. Um, they might see their daughter or their, their daughter is like 
you know, their princess, <laughs> very special to them. Um, this person's also very affectionate, I feel. Um, not overly like licking your face, slobbering, kissing, crazy, clinger, you know, not a person like that. I just feel like they're very sweet and very affectionate, but they're not like, they're not, they're not a crowd. <laughs> um, what am I trying to say? I don't know why I have a loss of words. I don't know what's going on with me. Um, they, they won't crowd you unless you want them to. If you're someone that likes to be like smothered, um, they can do that for sure. They communicate um, sweet texts. They call sweet phone calls, check in on you, see how you're doing. Um, they care very deep, like a, just very affectionate, very kind and caring. Okay, as someone who is seeking a new love, they may work very hard labor as well. Okay, um, they might do hard physical labor uh, in a career, in a job, or the job might be physically demanding. Okay, hmm, there's justice as well. Okay, this person's very fair too. So I like that. They're very reasonable. You can have conversation with them. I feel like this person's very well balanced. So. They're just saying, like, as far as a political affiliation, I don't know why I need to bring this up, but they're saying this person's, like, right in the center. They listen to both sides. They're very reasonable. They have an understanding for humanity. Um, they care about people more than they do about tasks. Tasks. They're very, um, they try to be very fair and honest, and they're very truthful type of a person. Ooh, and they're looking for you, Virgo. Yes, they are. You're their type. When they meet you, they're going to know it. Because Virgo's, you know, look at you. You're very reserved. Even look at the face. Virgo's like, uh-huh. Are you for serious? Are you sure? Are you serious? Yeah. So I kind of like the energy of this person, the way they're coming in. Um, you know, male or female, it's fine either way. But it feels like, I mean, let me see the love energy here. It feels like this is someone that you're just going to vibe with very beautifully. Let's see what the love messages are here for you, Virgo. Love messages for Virgo. Aw. You deserve love, Virgo. You are lovable. Okay. Very nice. You deserve this. Just because you are lovable. Because you're valuable. Everyone deserves love, and you do too. Let's see. Okay, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So when you connect with this person, you feel that spark, you know, express it. Now, express your love doesn't necessarily mean verbal expression. It can be just a romantic gesture, like um, a touch on the hand or on the arm or the lower back, you know, a, a physical expression of love as well. So yes, you can do that. Oh, okay. Well, you know, you got to give the message. For some of you, this is a past person coming back into your life. And I'm just going to say, not all of you, okay? But for some of you who are wanting to reconnect with a past person um, who you know is your match, there is the ener that energy can be playing out this week. Like I said, you could be connecting with this person in the middle of the week, okay? For some. We're going to put that over to the side because that's not for all of you. It did feel like right at the start, um, this was an energy of somebody new. But do keep in mind also that the outcome was the um, judgment, which can represent reconciliation. So we will keep that on the table, okay? I don't make the story. It's just what's coming up. And one more for Virgo here. Okay. All right. Engagement. Your love life will be ascending to a higher level of commitment. Well, you know, that doesn't mean it's going to happen this week. It could happen going forward, you know, into the rest of July, into August as well. But this week, I feel like there's going to be a connection that gets made. And you, Virgo, are going to be ready because you're doing something. You don't definitely don't wait until you're fully ready because when the opportunity comes in, you want to jump on it, right? Um, you know, don't necessarily say, well, you know, um, 
I was hoping to just try to have like more muscles in my try to get my booty better by the time I met someone and then you meet someone before that happens like don't just keep doing what you're doing anyway you know what I mean don't put somebody off to the side and say you know what I can't date you right now I got my booty just right about where I need it or I'm trying to have just about the right amount of money in the bank before I wasn't ready to meet somebody because I just wasn't fully financially stable quite yet or I hadn't accomplished all of my goals. It's all right. When love walks in, common sense goes out the door anyway. So do your best to keep attaining your goals and going after what you want because what matters is if you're still striving for that. I don't feel like... I don't feel like if you met the one and somebody told you, well, I'm not ready to date because of my finances. I, Virgo, I feel like you would be like, I don't care. As long as you're working towards it, let me come along for the ride. Maybe I can help, you know, Virgo. So don't do that to yourself either. If somebody comes along, they come along. There's no timing with that. Um, okay. Intuition. You already know the answer that you seek. All right. Let's see what else for Virgo. Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Very nice. Okay. And also, time apart, some distance will help bring clarity. Okay. For some of you, this was a recon this is a reconciliation from someone that you've been apart from, um, where your intuition has told some of you that you guys would reconcile, and that this person was in your life for a much bigger reason. Okay. A much bigger purpose in, than you might have imagined okay and acceptance everything is happening for a reason here Virgo I kind of like the way this is going for you I mean I'm not gonna lie I know you guys have been kind of like oh what's going on in my life what's happening why haven't I met anyone and I always say if you're busy doing you and you're working on your goals and your dreams and you're just doing you and you're not seeking love you're not chasing to have that in your life that's usually when it comes right and i mean you have to be completely i feel like i've surrendered to it you can't be like on monday i'm not thinking about love or chasing anyone i'm just going to work on this other thing and then tuesday you're thinking about love again no you have to be completely surrendered and completely okay with it and you're just like you know what i've surrendered it i'm going to just keep doing and living my life and enjoying it going out and smelling the roses and whatever I have to do and that's when love comes when you when just when you stop looking for it you know you know, I, th I always feel like it, when you start looking for it <laughs> it's not ever really meant for you <laughs> it just kind of pops up as a surprise I feel like when it's organic like that and it's meant to be um Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there. I just wanted to give this really weekly message for you guys. And I don't usually do that. Usually I look at the whole month, but I just kind of felt like, no, let's just look at this whole week and see how things go. Because I definitely feel like you're going to see some major results this week from everything you've done last week. And hopefully you guys are, you know, creating situations where you can have results for the following week and that you keep building upon that all right you guys so so much fun don't forget if you want to get a personal reading with me there's a link in the description box below this video definitely click on that and because i'm running that discount until july the end of july and hmm don't forget to uh donate to the fundraisers that i have below as well if you want to help with rescuing children or saving children from trafficking and all that stuff um, I do have that fundraiser and a website to help with the missing children as well so if you can't do anything and you just want to donate a dollar or a penny or whatever any amount is welcome and you know that's good karma points for you as well so yeah I'm gonna leave that there and I will see you guys back here tomorrow <laughs>